fixed tax date. Uh, what changes, if any, would you propose for the Arlington's tax structure? And more specifically, what's your position on the Arlington County tax rate? Would you like to see it increased and by how much? No one likes taxes. No one likes the tax increase. Right now, we are going to have a decision made on Saturday regarding our tax rate and whether or not we're looking at a one cent or a two cent increase. We, Joe Biden once said, show me your budget and I will tell you your priorities. And as Arlingtonians, that is going to be a hard decision on Saturday because the two cent, if we would have that go down to one cent, we have 24 lightning rods on the table. 24 things that probably each and every one of you in this audience care about. One of them for me is the Lee Highway Alliance. Another one is to make sure we have seven additional sheriffs in the county jail. Those are things that today I am not going to be able to cut. But we do need to take a closer look because it was one cent last year, maybe two cent this year. We cannot sustain the current tax rate growth but we do need to be more responsible and more transparent as we move forward. So that's maybe two cents? So I actually publicly uh, came out in favor of the two cent tax increase for this time around. What I've learned about the issues from the county board, I do feel that we need it for this time around. However, moving forward, I do agree that any tax discussions should be tied to greater accountability, greater transparency. But I would actually go even further. The reason we're going to need these taxes is to fund our schools, our infrastructure, and the projects that we are doing in Arlington. And that's because our 50% of our tax base comes from commercial. As that decreases, we are going to have increasing tax rates on property, uh, on individuals. So we are, pro we are providing a bold new economic vision to diversify our economy that creates new industry in Arlington, a new commercial tax base that can generate the wealth that we need. And so we can use that money to fund our infrastructure and our big ideas here. So I think this is a broader conversation and we cannot have a tax increase conversation without talking about improving and enhancing our commercial tax base and creating a new vision for Arlington. So that's two cents. Yes. One of the big challenges we have in Virginia is that um, the tax rates are the tax system is basically for a local government is basically very agrarian. It's really basically just land values. I mean, it goes back hundreds of years, and you know most of our income taxes we get less than twenty cents back on the dollar in Northern Virginia overall. All right, so we're basically very dependent on land taxes. I do agree that we do need to diversify the economy, but primarily to um, fill the empty office buildings. I'm all for having high tech, uh, and encouraging high tech and small businesses here, but frankly, they will not fill millions of square feet of empty office building, much of which is outdated floor plates. It's not leasable as office space, and because of that, you can't even repurpose it for residential, because there's, no, there's not enough light access because the buildings were built in the 60s. Now, I do support the two cent increase for two reasons. Number one, school enrollment is growing by seven, 800 a year minimum, okay, in this Arlington. Even if you cram all the kids into the same existing classrooms, you need to hire teachers and materials for them. The other thing is that with the Metro, we are looking at five, 10, 15 years of deferred maintenance, and we need to make Metro safe. And that's gonna cost us money now because we didn't pay it along the way. I know two cents, Mr. Rachel. So, uh, yeah, I'll go on record, uh, as I have, uh, supporting the two-cent increase this year only uh, for the same reasons, that I do believe that uh, what we're facing with Metro, which is the lifeline of, of our local economy and regional economy, uh, is paramount, and also that we are uh, experiencing a very, very rapid growth in the schools, and we have to respond to that, because we have to maintain the quality, the excellence of our education because schools are the very base of our local economy in this community, not only for our kids, but also it's what drives our employment here, where if we don't have the great schools to attract the talent for the employers, the employers don't come and fill those office buildings and pay the taxes. The original question, though, was about the structure of taxes. And I will say that we are very limited right now uh, in a Dillon rule state, meaning we can only do what the General Assembly allows us. So I encourage everybody in this room to get very, very involved in taking back the Virginia State House, which will open up the opportunity for us to look at how we do the tax structure uh, here in Arlington to adapt 
to where we are as an evolving community.